Um, our Dell rep actually contacted us and let us know that it was a free resource that was available to us. Um, after I investigated it, I thought it would pair nicely with some of the other things that we were using and just to have another set of eyes on the network. Um, we we used it to periodically scan the network for, for quite some time. So um, we're a K-12 environment and our AD infrastructure is parent-child. Um, we have about 2,200 staff, about 12,000 students. Um, AD is used as the route that syncs out to other services, Azure 365, Google, et cetera. Um, students are frequently added and removed on a regular basis, pretty much daily as they withdraw from the district and um, staff to some extent as well um, with substitute staff, bus drivers, custodians, things like that. So there's, there's a lot of transition on Active Directory and keeping track of what is um, disabled are um, just kind of still hanging out there um, is a challenge. Um, some of the other things that we do on the AD directory are a challenge too, because when you're talking about, you know, kindergartners, there's a different expectation for what security looks like for them because um, complex passwords don't really work out so well for them. Um, again, you know, it's, it's a little bit unique compared to what a standard business network um, would look like with regards to small children. Um, we have we have found ways around that. Um, complex password enforcement, enforcement MFA, um, things of that nature can be difficult in this environment. Um, and it presents a set of unique challenges to that. Um, you know, and that it's not it's not um, that there's tons of funding available to us as well. So, you know, we're there's there's a few of us and we're responsible for a lot of different things. Um, PK has kind of given us an insight into the network that maybe we wouldn't necessarily have on a regular basis. Um, we've not used those particular ones. We are involved with CIS and we do use their scanning tools and stuff like that. Um, I don't view PK as a replacement for those. I view it as in addition to. Um, and we conform to CIS standards and things of that nature as well. Um, but that's, uh, that's really it. Uh, scoring 66% on the first scan. Um, over the last few years, we've done a fair amount to tighten security, and uh, that includes implementing CIS standards and such. Um, so I would have expected um, a, a little better score out of the gate. Um, but it did point out uh, quite a bit of low-hanging fruit that we were able to take care of. Um, it really did a good job of pointing at simple things um, that you wouldn't necessarily think of right off the top of your head. And it allowed us to close in some gaps. Um, very much so. Uh, initially, we ran PK about six different times as we resolved different issues that it pointed out. Um, I no longer run PK because we opted to purchase DSP and ADFR, um, which are offerings from Semperus. Um, PK is basically integrated into their product called DSP, and it does full-time monitoring now instead of running individual scans. Um, so it's always there in the background. Um, those offer some unique advantages over PK by itself, so. Um, yeah, we changed our onboarding and offboarding processes. Um, most account um, for staff and student is now automated. Um, we've we've kind of harnessed PowerShell to take some of the some of the variants out of that. Now everything conforms to a set standard and is handled automatically. Um, we've also changed some of the way we were were handling group policies and, and things of that nature. Uh, yes, it's it's an additional resource. Um, you can point to the report to show gaps, areas where there's opportunity to improve. Um, I've used it in budgetary 
uh, aspects like um, you know if you if you're if you're trying to um, justify a software package or something like that you can use um, pk's report to kind of show where some of those vulnerabilities lie and things like that or if you're making a procedural change that may not be popular um, like mfa or, or something along those lines you can kind of use pk's reports to to help justify those things and uh, kind of push back or push against the pushback you get from um, staff i would you know there's a lot of us out there that there's not um we we don't have full security teams we maybe not even have a dedicated security person and this will give you a set of eyes on the network that, um, you know, will we'll bring some of that low hanging fruit to light. Um, one of the nice things about Purple Knight is it also, it not only shows you your vulnerability, but also then links out to the articles on how to, how to address that vulnerability. So if someone's not as familiar with security, um, they can read up on that particular item and then learn how to address it, why it's a vulnerability and resolve it. So it's a pretty invaluable resource um, and it's, re it's really great that it's free. We did opt to upgrade to their paid services because it offers a lot of additional features. Um, so it, it, for us, it's been really good.